The Cairo Metro is the first rapid transit system in Greater Cairo, Egypt and the first of only two full-fledged metro systems in Africa and only four in the Arab world. It was opened in 1987 as Line 1 from Helwyn to Ramsays Square with a length of 29 kilometers. As of 2014, the Cairo Metro has 61 stations of which three transfer stations with a total length of 77.9 km long. The system consists of three operational lines numbered from 1 to 3. Cairo Metro has the first tunnel under the Nile River in history, as the Line 2 extends under the river. Overview The Cairo Metro is run by the National Authority for Tunnels. The lines use standard gauge. On all Cairo Metro trains, the middle two cards of each train are reserved for women. There are also blue signs at every station that signify the position of these cars. These cars are used as an option for women who do not wish to ride with men in the same car. However, women can still ride other cars freely. This policy was introduced for protection of women from sexual harassment by men. As of 2013, the metro carried nearly 4 million passengers per day. Operating hours Cairo Metro operates from 500 till 100 with a total of 20 working hours all the year except during the holy month of Ramadan, which operates from 500 till 200 with a total of 21 working hours while the remaining hours reserved for maintenance work. Tickets The ticket price is one Egyptian pound for each journey, regardless of distance. Network Line 1 Line 1 is the oldest line of the Cairo Metro, with its first 29-kilometer segment having opened in 1987. The line is 44.3-KILOMETRE long, and serves 35 stations. This line carries trains with three units, which have a headway of 3.30 to 4 minutes, and a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. The line can carry 60,000 passengers per hour in each direction. Line 1 had a train driving simulator supplied by Transurb Technorail that won the international tender issued by Cairo Metro in December 2011. Line 2 Line 2 is the second line of the Cairo Metro. The line is 21.6 KILOMETRE long, of which 13 km is in tunnels. It serves 20 stations, of which 12 are underground. It is mostly in board tunnel, with two exceptions. A short section at the northern end approaching Shibra El Khaima which is elevated, and a section just south of this by cut and cover. Line 2 uses the third rail electrification system instead of the overhead line used in the first line. The communication extension for Line 2 was provided by Alcatel in 2005. The minimum headway for the line is 2 minutes 40 seconds to 3 minutes. The Line 2 has a simulator installed in Shibra since 2002 which was delivered by French company Cories. Line 3 Line 3 presently operates from Ataba to Aram, with construction underway for the remaining line to the northwest of Greater Cairo. Eventually it would link Cairo International Airport all the way to Cairo University and Mbaba. The line will cross under the two branches of the River Nile, as does Line 2. The total length of the line will be approximately 50 kilometers, most of which in board tunnel, and will be implemented in four phases. Phase 1 from Ataba Station to Abyssia Station opened on 21 February 2012, with five stations and a total length of 4.3 kilometers. Phase 2 Dwal Amaram Station was opened on 7 May 2014 by President Adli Mansour, with four additional stations and an added length of 7.7 km, for a total length of 12.0 km. History Background as the biggest and most densely populated city in Africa, and the Arab world, the case for a metro in Greater Cairo was strong. In 1987 that population stood at 10 million residents, not counting the 2 million or so commuters who came into Cairo every day to work. 
the capacity of Cairo's public transport infrastructure was around 20,000 passengers hour, which increased to 60,000 after the construction of the metro. In 1990 a study was conducted for the future needs of the city and showed there was a need for about 8.4 million journeys by public transport and 2.7 million journeys by other modes, such as taxi and car. The actual public transport capacity is 4.9 million journeys, day 3.5 million short of the actual requirement. This has led to a 50% increase in the number of taxis on the streets with subsequent increases in traffic congestion in the city. Proposed plans The idea of a metro was first thought of in the 1930s by the Egyptian engineer Syed Abdul Wahid who was working at the Egyptian Railway Authority. However, the idea did not progress. Following the Egyptian Revolution of 1952, there was renewed interest in the idea. In 1954, French experts made a report about the future of the transportation in Egypt. They proposed a metro encompassing two lanes, one 12 km long lane connecting Bab al-Luk and Ismailia and a second 5 km lane connecting Bulak and Abu al ela Castle. They also proposed that there should be one company in charge of all transportation systems. Later on multiple experts came to Egypt regarding that project. Soviet experts in 1956, Japanese experts in 1960 and French experts in 1962, which concluded the following. The creation of a metro system with multiple lines. The first is a 5 km lane connecting Helwyn with Elmar going under the Kasrleini Street and Ramses Street. The second lane would be from Syed Zainib to Shobra going under downtown Cairo and would be 9.5 km long. The third is from Giza to Abazair and would be 11.5 km long. The fourth is from al Orkaf to the castle and is 6.7 km long. In 1964 British experts advised the creation of a metro line from Bab el Luke to Shibra. In 1966 Japanese experts advised the creation of a lane between Helwyn and Elmark and another one going through Mohanderson, Heliopolis and 26 a July Street, which would encompass 26 kilometers. Lastly, in 1969, the government approved the need for a study showing the needed capacity for Cairo's transportation system. The Egyptian Ministry of Transport had an international tender for the creation of the study. Eight companies applied and the French company Sofreto won the tender on 20 September 1970. The study was finished in 1973 and included mainly the study of the population development in Cairo and its needs for transportation capacity in 1980, 1985 and 1990. It concluded the necessity for three lines in Greater Cairo to solve the transportation problem. The first line would use the already available railways and connect them through a metro. It would be in total 43 kilometers long. The second line should be 13.5 kilometers and connect Shibra El Khaima and Bulik going through Ramses Street and Tahir Square. The third line would go from El Darasar to Mbaba and would be in total 10 kilometers long. The priority for the project was the first line which would reduce 30% of the daily transport to and from Cairo and use the already available structures. The detailed study of the construction took six years from 1975 to 1981. A tender was made for the construction of the metro and the Egyptian-French company Entra Nevra Arabco won it and had the task of constructing the metro system. Construction works The construction of Line 1 started in 1982 after the French government agreed on giving Egypt the necessary loan. The first section was opened in the 27th of September 1987 and the line was completed in 1989, connecting Helwyn with El Margan consisting of 33 stations, with a total length of 43 kilometers of which 4.7 kilometers underground. The line witnessed few developments since 1989. New El Marg station was added in 1999 to the northern end of the line. 
bringing its total length to 44.3 km. Helwyn University Station was built between Wadi Hufen and Helwyn stations. Cairo's metro network was greatly expanded in the mid-1990s with the building of Line 2, from Shubra El Khaima to Cairo University, with an extension to Giza. The line includes the first tunnel under the Nile. The construction of the line was finished in October 2000 and was later extended to El Munib. Future. Line 4 Line 4 is planned to run from Haram District reaching the new Cairo District connecting Greater Cairo from west to east crossing the two branches of the Nile River with total length of 24 kilometers. Phase 1 of the project will run from El Malik El Salah Station to the October Oasis Highway Station with a total length of 18 kilometers. Passing through Giza Railway Station, the original plan for Phase 1 was for it to start from El Malik El Salah Station and end at the Grand Egyptian Museum Station with a total length of 10 km. But the Ministry of Roads and Transportation decided to extend the line in their efforts to further connect the Governorate of the 6th of October to the Greater Cairo area. Phase 1 also includes the plan to connect the end of Line 4 to the suburbs of the 6th of October mainly through executing the October 6th tram system which will be by using a tram train system supplied with the Alstom Regis Citadis trams. This phase will have 15 stations to be constructed with a duration of 6.5 years. Phase 1 stations will be equipped with automatic fare collection system and platform screen door and will consider disabled passengers by means of elevators. Phase 1 bidding has been postponed until May 2015 to enable Japan International Cooperation Agency to complete the feasibility study and to resolve other issues with the construction starts by 2015 or 2016 according to Ishmael El Nagdi, chairman of National Authority for Tunnels with Japan International Cooperation Agency financing $1.2 billion loan while Egyptian government covering the rest of $2.4 billion. Phase 2 is set to begin in 2014 starting from El Malik El Salah Station passing through Magra El Oyan Street and Salah El Din Citadel in Salah Salem Street and ending at the 6th District Station with a completion date set at October 2018. Phase 3 is set to begin in 2015 starting from the 6th District Station and ending at Makrami Bade Station running through Mustafa El Nahas Street in or tunnels under the existing old tram system, taking it as a guide and ultimately deconstructing the old railway and paving the path it occupied increasing the street by two lanes in each direction which is critically needed to lighten the traffic congestion in the area. This phase has a completion date set at October 2019. Phase 4, the final phase has a starting date set in 2017 where it will start from Makrami Bayd Station with board tunnels running through Dr. Hassan El Shera Street and all the way under Ahmed El Zomor Street reaching the end of the line and making it complete at the Police Academy Station. Line 4 is expected to be fully operational by October 2020. The new Cairo monorail This project has been proposed by private investors and awaiting approval from the government with a plan to connect Line 3 with Line 4 through a route which is mostly parallel to the Ring Road's eastern arc, therefore covering New Cairo from north to south starting at the Cairo International Airport and ending at the beginning of the Cairo Ain Sokna Highway where the government is currently planning to build a major bus station to serve those traveling to the eastern part of the country. The project has an estimated cost of $750 million and a completion date set at 2020. Proposed stations are Cairo International Airport, the Governmental Complex, Naguib Mahfouz, Police Academy, the Fifth Settlement, Katamea, Eastern Cairo Bus Station, Long Term Plans A transportation study of the Greater Cairo region was completed in 1999. It recommended the implementation of a six-line system consisting of Lines 1, 2 and 3, and Lines 4, 5 and 6. 
The completed metro network would be capable of serving most of the densely populated areas in the Greater Cairo region, which was much in need of a comprehensive mass transit system. The plans include interchange stations between the six metro lines and would also provide interchange facilities with existing main railway stations, the airport, and bus stations. The six planned metro lines aim to meet the transportation demands of the Greater Cairo area up to the year 2022. However, the actual construction and implementation schedule will be restricted by available funding, and it is likely that the timetable will slip. Line 5 would be half-circular line connecting lines 1, 2, 3 and 4, running from Nasa City to Port Said Street and Shubra El Khaimah. It would have a length of 20 kilometers, entirely within board tunnels. Line 6 would stretch from Shubra in the north until the Mahdi and Helwin districts in the south. It would run from Artaba Station through El Kala Street in board tunnels to Salah Eldon Citadel Station and moving on from there to both districts, via board tunnels using the existing route El Mahaga Railway as a guide through both Mahdi and Helwan. This line has a length of 19 kilometers.